Greater Sonic Wave is here, and a lot of players are already playing around with it and testing it out. I was curious to test it out myself, so I got my hands on one, for the iron, moreover. And the first thing I did was put together this testing video to see how Greater Sonic Wave stacks up versus the regular Sonic Wave, and even against Greater Concentrated Blast. So, let's get right into it. Good day, everybody. So, just the day before this video, I published a guide on how to farm Armored Phantoms in what I found to be the easiest way possible, and following the, my own guide myself, I landed a codex drop for Greater Sonic Wave. I still have no idea how rare it is, but I was excited, so I used it right away. <laughs> now, the testing that you'll see in this video is based off of previous testing videos I've made where I put the Inquisitor Staff up against Greater Concentrated Blast uh, using dual-wielded T88s, uh, Tier 88 Sea Singers, that is. And so this video builds on those prior testing videos. And that being said, it leaves uh, a big elephant or two in the room that I want to address right away regarding my gear and setup. Uh, this video is timestamped, so if you don't care about that, you can skip right ahead to whichever boss you want to see tested and uh, the results in general. The long story short of my gear and my setup, regardless of how good or bad it is, is that it is fair for the testing of Greater Sonic Wave versus Regular Sonic Wave versus Greater Concentrated Blast, because the setup is the same for each uh, test. I'm not going to go too much into detail about it because it's not that important really, but the reason for the very backwards gear and the reasons that I uh, backwarded my own setup for this test is that when I first published my first testing video related to this, uh, my iron account was even younger than it is now and that's what I was using to test, so my gear was suboptimal, my rotation was suboptimal, all that. But, like I said, the rotations, the gear, the everything is exactly the same for every boss tested, so the only difference uh, in kill times and everything comes as a direct result of whether or not the kill was using Greater Sonic Wave or Sonic Wave or Dual Wielded Sea Singers. For this reason too, you'll see that I'm using very minimal uh, damage boosting extra things. There's no Combat Familiar, there's no Maniacal Aura, there's nothing like that that helps damage in any way. There's uh, Scripture of Wine equipped, but it's not even activated, it's just there for the prayer bonus. <laughs> Now, without further delay, let's get into the first boss, uh, Vindicta in normal mode. So in my prior testing, uh, originally of Greater Concentrated Blast versus just the Inquisitor Staff, they were about even. The kill times were about even between the Inquisitor Staff and Dual Yielded Sea Singers because Greater Concentrated Blast is great, and even though Tier 88 is substantially smaller than the damage boost that the Inquisitor Staff gives, uh, basically Greater Concentrated Blast managed to catch up, or at least keep up. My next testing video around this involved the Inquisitor Staff with the boost that you get from the slivers from ED4, which boosts the damage by 5%, and in that round of testing, the Inquisitor Staff actually pushed through for a substantial difference in kill times. Now, using the exact same setup, I went back with my Greater Sonic Wave and performed the same test and killed Vindicta 10 times. And as you can see, the results are a little underwhelming, uh, basically identical. <laughs> the average kill time dropped by about one second. My shortest and longest kill times didn't even vary too much compared to those uh, when I was just using regular Sonic Wave. Uh, yeah, so <laughs> the short of it is not much difference here at Vindicta, uh, that greater Sonic Wave made, really. The next boss I tested on previously was Hellware, uh, very similar to Vindicta, but less running around uh, in that I can just sit there and even with this mediocre setup, I can just sit there and tank everything without having to run around like I do at Vindicta, so uh, here are the results from last time. Um, again, very similar kill times between the regular Inquisitor Staff and Dual Wielded Sea Singers. The boosted Inquisitor Staff bafflingly got longer average kill times by a little bit. I have no idea what happened there still. Uh, but most importantly, here are the results with Greater Sonic Wave and the boosted Inquisitor Staff. Uh, similarly to Vindicta, this keeps it just right about on pace with either dual wielded T88s or the regular Inquisitor staff. So again, a little disappointing unfortunately, the difference or lack of difference that Greater Sonic Wave made. Uh, but it is a similar boss to test on, so um, it should be expected that the results are similar, right? Anyway, the final boss tested on was Orichalca, the Rex Matriarch of Melee. This is the only test in my prior testing where dual Sea Singers, aka Greater Concentrated Blast, really outshone the Inquisitor Staff. It was a little bit baffling at first. Uh, the boosted Inquisitor Staff, as you can see, helped a little bit, but didn't quite bridge the gap. 
Um, it was pointed out to me, and I noticed also later that one of the reasons for this could be because of Orichalca's frost freezing mechanic that drastically slows down your attack speed. And I think this impacts staves a lot more than it does dual wielded weapons. Um, in other words, I think you get a lot less attacks in per minute with a staff while you're under that mechanic. So that could be a reason for that. But anyways, on to the main point. With Greater Sonic Wave going back and running these tests again, uh, again, the result is pretty much identical to the boosted Inquisitor staff without Greater Sonic Wave. So this is, I think, my first testing video where they made a major upgrade, upgraded a basic to a greater ability, and the results were identical across the board without exception for any boss. So those are my initial results. Now for a little analysis, because there's a lot to... So the initial impression from a lot of the community across Reddit and whatever boards was that this greater ability is a very underwhelming boost compared to the regular. I am inclined to agree after this round of testing. Um, and it's hard for me to think of scenarios where this ability could make a very big difference compared to just a regular Sonic Wave. It was advertised that this might be intended more for AoE, like with greater chain, if you happen to have that already. Uh, but still, I don't know. Maybe when slaying regular mobs or just doing regular Slayer tasks, this makes a bigger difference, I wouldn't really imagine. It does seem more underwhelming than I even expected it to be because the key thing in this ability compared to the regular Sonic Wave is that for the next two attacks or so, for the next five seconds or four seconds, whatever it is, you get a plus 100 to your ability damage. What this actually translates to is roughly two tiers or two weapon tiers up. That should make at least a one or two percent noticeable difference in damage over time because uh, especially if it's towards the front of your rotation like it is for me in all these tests, that means that a lot of your abilities will have plus 100 ability damage. So. Um, I was a bit surprised that there wasn't a more noticeable difference just because of that aspect of this ability. The part that I think is even more disappointing is that the moderate damage boost didn't really seem to help from the greater compared to the regular Sonic Wave. So, uh, yeah, I'm not sure what else to comment about this. I'm glad the grind didn't take me more than, like, a casual day um, and that I never have to see Armored Phantoms or whatever again for a long time. Now, this is really early. Um, this is... Like I said, only two days since this ability has been released. I am hopeful that either it'll be nerfed early on <laughs> to be more fitting for a greater ability, or someone out there, uh, some players out there are going to find a better use for this ability that uh, just hasn't been discovered yet. So that leads me to you. If you have been using this and you have found little niches where this is better, or if you found that having uh, much better gear and ability rotations than I did here helps a lot, uh, please comment and let everybody know because uh, I am very curious to know if there actually is a better use for this ability. Um, you could argue easily that full revolution with basic gear is not the best way to see the full shine of an ability. <laughs> I am doubtful that those kind of things make a difference, but I would be happy to be proven wrong. That's it. That's all I've got. If you've made it this far, thank you very much for watching. I really appreciate it. If you like this video and want to see other content similar to this, uh, please consider liking this video and subscribing to my channel. I'll catch you in the next one.